Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner, okay? And this is another review, okay? Married to Medicine, Season 7, Episode 11. I'm surprised that they have already filmed the reunion. I feel like, isn't that early? It's only episode 11. I'm like, I would think they wouldn't film the reunion for like at least until like episode 15. Because Jews doesn't the season have like 20 episodes? I'm just like, already? The reunion was filmed? Oh, girl, this is this all we get? Ain't nothing really happened. Enough for a for reunion. I'm just saying, okay? But I digress, honey. If you have not done so already, make sure that you have already subscribed to my channel, okay? To become a whole Jaybird. Jaybird. Dun, 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 dun. And all that goodness and stuff. Okay, do not forget to like this video. Comment in the comment section. Share it to your social media. You can always follow me on IG at J underscore Lee underscore Corner. Okay, hit that notification bell because it lets you know what when I have new videos. Okay, and let's just get it started in here. Okay, so we see everyone is going to their room. We know that uh, Heavenly and Dr. Damon, oh uh, yeah, Dr. Damon, has won the, the, the penthouse suite after Damon down there broke his neck doing the head spin in the dance contest, okay? Now, the, the we see the, the rooms are fine, in my opinion, and I see what Toya or, or Eugene was like, this place is going to have nice rooms. I'm not going to go up in there for it. So we see the regular room, the standard room, you know, partial ocean view, king-size bed in the mini kitchen, okay? The room looks fine. Now, that bed looks hard. It doesn't look fluffy to me. It may be fluffy, okay? But I'm like, it just looks so stiff, okay? Like a penis. I'm not sure. Anyway, so again, this is the standard room. The the, the penthouse suite, which um, Heavenly and, you know, Small Number had all, it just had multiple bedrooms, a terrace, a mini bar. I'm like, uh, yeah. So anyway, but we do see Quad's room. Okay, she had a one-bedroom suite all the way up at the top of the villa. I mean, away from all the other couples. And at first, they're like, oh, they put her room far away from the couples for a reason. And Simone said, no, I put her so far away because that way she can have time with the person that matters most to her herself. Okay, and that's what I guess so. But Quad was tired of walking, honey. And them heels, the bottom stairs, it's like, it's, it's further, it's, it's up higher. It was like all the way at the top. Like, let's you walking up seven flights of stairs and heels in the heat, girl. I would say, bitch, nope, I'll sleep in the car. Mm -mm, I'm good. Anyway, so we see that goes on. So we do see they go to dinner. Now, remember, this is the anniversary trip. Okay, for Simone and Caesar's 23rd wedding anniversary. Okay, so Mariah doesn't come, though. Mariah's not feeling too well. She's having cramps or whatever. So she does not come to the first dinner. Now, Toya said, well, Mariah don't have good looks with these dinners. So sometimes it may be good that she did not show up. Who knows? So we do see they get on a little bus ride to this restaurant and everything or whatever and it seems to be real far down a whole dark road and i'm looking like they're gonna get kidnapped and that is what they're jokingly saying because it's getting dark it's nighttime they don't know where they're going or whatever and so when they joke about getting kidnapped jackie then said well we should have to tell a story as to why we should not be taken okay and then having said well anybody with kids should be left alone and then jackie would have been well, i'm in trouble and then Buffy said well apparently so am i i said mm -hmm. that was the first of 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 uh that was the first notion that something was gonna happen in my opinion so we get to dinner now we see how uh jackie and curtis thank simone and see so oh because y'all helped us get past curtis is cheating on me with that lady and helped us to stay married. So, you know, thank you to y'all. We see the kids in the little video. Happy their parents did not separate. And their parents put up with them. I said, that's great as well. Okay, so let's get to the good stuff. Okay, because the good thing that happened on this episode was Buffy. Oh, Buffy. Okay, so Contessa asked Buffy, since this is your first couple's trip. 
Okay, with everybody, how do you think things are going so far? Okay, day one. And it was when I when I first came around, you know what I'm saying, Natalie kept picking on me or whatever. And you know, she was just a little she kept fucking with people or whatever. And Buffy said, I'm fine with Hadley. Like Hadley's not messing me. Like I can handle her. However, I didn't like the comment about me being infertile. And then Jackie then say, What you know what happened? What happened now? And so Jackie act dumb as if she had no idea what Buffy was talking about. Okay. What 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 what, what was that now? What's going on? So, um, she says I didn't like what you that while you you know, brought up me being infertile at your thing in front of all them strangers. I I didn't like that or whatever. Jackie then said, I thought I was making a connection, you know, with us both taking our pain and using it in a positive way. And then she said, well, I didn't, I didn't take it that way. And I didn't like that you did it. Like, I was offended. Because you told a room full of strangers that my uterus didn't work, okay? And she said, as a doctor, Jackie should know better. As a doctor, Jackie should know better. Now, Jackie does not even take in the fact that she hurt Buffy's feelings for one and she spoke about something that was not her business to speak about in a room full of strangers. We're not talking about Jackie bringing it up amongst a group of ladies on the show. Jackie brought it up at a public event for her book. Okay? None of them people was there for Buffy. They were there for Jackie. So... Excuse me. And, you know, Jackie at this point pissed me off to the highest point of pissivity. Okay? Jackie then tries to defend the fact that she said this in front of strangers, saying that she did it because people should not be hiding their issues. That's like lying or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Since I use my situation all the time to help others and blah, 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 blah. But never once, as Jackie's talking and being defensive, is she saying to Buffy, you know what? I should not have spoke about your medical situation in regards to what I went through with my medical service. That's all Jackie had to wholeheartedly say. But not Jackie asked not today. Jackie, I think, pissed off every view. I don't think Nanam viewer watched this episode and was cool with what happened. Just saying. So Toya then speaks up. You know, I think we all need to get to points to knowing when to... You know, ask somebody, is it okay to speak about a certain situation? Because, you know what I'm saying, to, to other people or whatever. Jackie then said, oh, so we need permission now? Yes, bitch. Yes. If you're going to speak about my medical situation, yes, you need my permission to announce that shit to strangers. Dr. Jackie, okay? Points blank motherfucking period, okay? So, Toya then said, I would be upset if someone went and spoke about my miscarriage without talking to me first saying, is it okay for me to discuss this? I, the fact that Jackie can't even fathom why Buffy is upset is mind-boggling to me. But we also know what the real what the real issue is. Jackie don't like being caught out on her bullshit. And I want y'all to get this. Y'all don't like Mariah. I get y'all don't like Mariah. This Jackie that we're seeing is the person that Mariah keeps telling us about. How Jackie would do things and she don't like to be held accountable for them. Or she'll act like what she did was nothing wrong and you is the wrong. You, you're, you're the person who's crazy for being upset. That is what she was doing to Buffy. As if Buffy had no reason to be upset. Buffy had no reason to, to, to say, I didn't like how you did Girl... Jackie, you a piece of shit for this. You are the most... <sighs> you did the most to not acknowledge that lady's feelings. And the fact that you would like to be about women and women empowerment and sisterhood and you know how we... You are full of shit. And this show your slip. Now, maybe not with Mariah with those ships on, but with Buffy, with Buffy, bitch, your slip was showing all up and through your dress, your scrubs, your slacks, all of that. And then the face that Jackie was making, the evil, okay, evil, just the, look at her face. 
Look at that. Okay, this is how you act because someone tells you they are upset that you disclose their personal information to a room full of strangers. You old piece of shit. So Jackie then say, oh, well, if we need permission to discuss someone else's personal business, medical stuff, then that means we aren't friends. Bitch, please. Okay, this is my thing. Jackie is missing. You were in a room full of your friends, not Buffy's friends. That was a Buffy party. I'm sure Buffy and not Nan Town tell you, hey, if you ever need to, yes, bring up the fact that I'm infertile. Because my, and that's the, and the fact that some people say you have to be careful when you ask people or talk to people, well, women in general, about them and children because you don't know how they're struggling internally if they cannot have children. I remember Gabrielle Union said how when she was struggling and having miscarriages and all that stuff and people kept asking her about pregnancies and getting and, and kids or whatever and she had to silently be, you know what I'm saying, this torn apart that she, they didn't know what she was going through, but people were still talking about it like it was this. Oh, nothing. It's the same thing. You brought up that lady can't have kids, and, she, and she's upset. She's hurt that she cannot birth her own children. Jackie's a heifer. Anyway, when Jackie then said, "Do we need permission now to do this?" and Toya said, "Yes, because it's my situation, not yours." No one is saying that. You can't talk about your shit. Don't talk about my personal stuff. If I lost a baby, if I can't have kids, that's nobody else's business. That's my medical stuff. That's that's like if she said, well, you know what? I know about STDs because I had herpes. And you know, because Buffy, you had chlamydia. Just because we both had STDs, I mean, I want you to let the people know that I had one. And it, just, it made me mad. So Jackie is just... She pissed me off a lot because she was rude, dismissive, um, just a real lackluster ass, just acceptance of what you did wrong. Okay, she then says in a rude, dismissive, disrespectful, just I don't give a fuck away, I apologize, I'm done, let's eat. And that was this face. And it was like, Jackie, not they, mm -mm, not they. Toya. Only Toya and Eugene was the only ones that spoke up a little bit. Well, Toya is the most not Eugene, really, whatever. Everyone else sat there and let Jackie be a bitch to Buffy. As if Buffy did anything wrong and she didn't do shit besides tell somebody who did something to them in public what she didn't like. My thing is, Heavenly then said, no, not, not only that, Jackie then, because when they said, Jackie, I can't believe you, you know, because she, it was some bullshit. It was a bullshit, as apology. it was a bullshit apology. Then she said, this is the new Jackie, okay, you're going to meet her. Fuck new Jackie, it's old Jackie, Jackie, all up and through, okay? So, um, again, Jackie don't like being called out on her shit. That's what it is. So then she tells Buffy, this is the last time. Don't talk to me at all. You know, don't say shit to me. No, I, I'm like, the fact that Jackie feels the just this the, the importance of I don't have to respect another woman whose feelings I hurt is beyond me. I don't know if Curtis in her place where I don't know if she was upset because she had to suck Curtis dick later. I don't know what was wrong with Jackie. Okay, maybe her weave was too tight. I don't know. She could have been hot. Maybe she. I don't know what was wrong. Don't know. What I do know is it was disgusting behavior. And as a woman, as a doctor. <clears throat> To not, I feel like, so are you at other, like if one of your clients, if one of your patients was at that book signing or whatever, and they're infertile, would you then say to them, patient uh, 1504, you know, because you're infertile too. Would you do that? Would you divulge a patient of yours infertility? No. You want know why? It's against the law. It's called HIPAA, bitch. Oh, piss me off. Okay. So... Again, she tells Buffy, don't talk to her no more. Like, don't say that. And Buffy like this, I can't believe I'm good. Buffy was fuming, but she was like, uh-uh, you know, whatever. So, Simone said, like, I think Jackie's upset because she like me put on blast or whatever. So, the table heavily then tries to defend Jackie, okay? It says, 
anybody who think Jackie upset, they've done something wrong because y'all know that she does not intentionally do anything. She, she does never intentionally do things to hurt somebody. This is my thing on that. If you shoot me, if you accidentally shoot me, if you have a gun in your hand and you pull the trigger in the air and the bullet hits me, shoot, you still shot me. I have the right to be pissed that you shot me, even though you didn't mean to do it. Okay? You can't do something, and, and, and no matter what your intentions were, you still did something that made someone feel some kind of way. Your intention may, your intention may not have been to shoot anybody, but you shot someone. So they're still shot. So even if you do not mean to harm me, you harmed me. You hurt me. I have a right to feel how I feel. Jackie out here shooting people and then feel it because she didn't she wasn't trying to shoot them. You can't be mad that I shot you. I didn't mean to. But bitch, you shot me. Girl, I can't. fuck you, Heavenly. Fuck Heavenly too. Because Heavenly was getting upset with Buffy. Like you can't why couldn't you uh pull her to the side or whatever? Don't Check her in front of people. Uh, because, because girl, look. Jackie did not say shit to Buffy in private. She didn't pull Buffy to the side, to the side and say, Hey, Buffy, can I bring this up in front of all these people? No. Buffy responded to Jackie the same way Jackie did her. She said it in public, so she checked her in public. She said, I didn't like that. What you said in public. Miss... I am livid at the fact that at the table... Everyone's quiet except uh, um, Toya and Heavenly. Where Heavenly is defending Jackie and Toya defending is defending um, uh, Buffy. But I'm like, why is no one telling Jackie, Jackie, you have to be held accountable because you did something wrong. You did something wrong in public. Period. Point blank. I digress. To this point in time, Buffy, go, whatever, you ain't, you know, not Buffy, Heavenly. Because I don't believe, I can't, because Jackie's nice, because she's the best of her life. Buffy was like, shut the fuck up, Heavenly, shut the fuck up, okay? This is not about you. This is not happening to you. I'm tired of your shit, okay? I ain't the one. I said, oh, come on now, Buffy. Buffy, 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 okay? And again, I won't try. This is the same face Jackie had the whole time. Evil. Just despiteful, okay, demonic a little bit, if you ask me, all up in her feelings, but I don't care. So, for the most part, Buffy say Jackie uses, or not Jackie uses, but Heavenly is Jackie's puppet. And she says all the evil and vile things that Jackie wants to say, but she won't. And Jackie lets her do it because, again, that's a puppet. I say, girl, that's very, very true. And she's like, the Heavenly just likes to be aligned or being friends with Jackie. Which is crazy because when, when Heavenly first started, they didn't like each other. Now they bosom buddies. Okay, anyway, so, but that whole, shut the fuck up, Heavenly. I said, ooh, yes. Shut the fuck up, Heavenly. Okay, Heavenly, Heavenly. So, we then see Contessa takes Heavenly to the bathroom to calm her down because Heavenly's all upset. But again, like she said, it didn't happen to you. It happened to me. And you don't have nothing, this ain't got nothing to do with with you and have I just get upset when anybody makes Jackie mad. Jackie ain't God. She also not perfect. Jackie at times is a piece of shit. Okay, like today. So we do see Simone as Buffy's husband since he is a psychologist or is he, he is, or a psychiatrist, one or two. You know, if he has any, you know, advice on conflict resolution, okay? And he said something I think was amazing. He said, you know, before you even get to a point of trying to resolve a conflict or whatever, you have to first ask yourself, um, how will the other person feel if I say this? And if you can't empathize or understand how they'll feel, then you will never be able to get to a point to resolve it because you're not even worried. You're not even worried about the conflict, which is what Jackie and Hadley and sometimes uh uh um um what's that girl name Quad does. But, but mainly this is for Jackie. Because Jackie said something with no regard to how it would make Buffy feel, and when Buffy told her how it made her feel, Jackie still had no regard for how she made someone feel. But I really bet on my life if, if you know, Buffy should have a party for her own, okay? She men ain't shit. And she said, you know, Jackie, you should know how it feels because your husband, she's on you in a hotel room 
Well, just call her out. Okay, go into a, but you can't do that because everyone knows that her husband is a cheater. But I would, girl, I can't. I can I just, the next day, let's move past, let's move past it. Because, I mean, the, the end result, Jackie, honey, in this situation with you and Buffy, you're a piece of shit. You were wrong. Dead ass wrong. And you made yourself look like the lowest common denominator because you had no empathy for another woman just because you felt like she called you out in public. The next day, you know, everyone sit around having conversations or whatever. So only um, Toya Eugene, Simone and Cesar were saying how Jackie was wrong and how she was very aggressive and how she tried to fakely apologize to Buffy and it was some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But no one said that that night except Toya. Period. Okay. Now Buffy says for her, you know, since so she thought I wasn't embarrassed of what she said, I was just hurt because that's still a, a painful thing for me because I want children. So you bring it up that I can't have them is painful for me because I want that. And I'm like, Jackie should know. She's a fucking doctor. You're an OBGYN. I cannot. You know what I'm saying? And she also brings up how it wasn't Jackie's story to share. My issues was, was not for you to share with anyone. It's my story. And I say, I agree. So, you know, Jackie brings up how... I mean, no, she said, Jackie, this isn't using nobody to call her on her shits. And that's why she acted that way. And it's true. So, Jackie, now I'm talking to Curtis. Like, I can't believe, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, I, how Buffy was asking or whatever. And I guess I can't make my pain be Buffy's purpose. Either way I go, it ain't your business what Buffy uterus is doing, Jackie. You know what I'm saying? She, she, says, I, she says, I've been on an apology tour dealing with Mariah. And that my willingness to get along with people is being looked at as a weakness. And I can't keep apologizing to my friends. Jackie, you apologize to one person as Mariah. What everyone with you and Mariah don't have shit to do when you do something completely separately wrong to a whole other person. If you feel like that you only have to apologize to one person and that one person, you know, that means you don't have to apologize to anybody else. Then you're stupid and go somewhere with that bullshit, okay? She then says how I just don't want to keep I don't want to keep having to apologize to my friends for things I say when I'm not saying it in a malicious way. So you want to do what you want to do, say what you want to say, don't care how someone takes it. And just because you think it's okay, they can't have an issue with that. And if they have an issue with that, you feel like you don't have to apologize. Again, Jackie, you're a piece of shit. So we then see they all go on the bus, okay? They all go on, on a little bus ride to do something. I think it was going camel riding somewhere. So they was going to do something, okay? A little, little activity, okay? And again, they're all acting as if nothing happened or whatever. When Mariah says, so how was dinner last night? They're like, oh, girl, it was, it was fine. It was fine or whatever. Ignoring the elephant in the room you know, on that small-ass bus, okay? So, they get on the small-ass bus again, okay? Small-ass bus, and it's 103 degrees outside. It's also hot on the bus, okay? And as they're driving, the bus cuts off. Yep, cuts off on the side of the road. So, they're all like, oh, my God, it's so hot on here. Like, I can't deal with this one. What's going on? So, they all then decide to get off the bus, because they have to walk back to the hotel. I think Simone said let's walk back because the hotel was not that far. And it probably would have been longer for them to wait for cars to come get them than to just walk back or whatever. So, I mean, I think that's crazy the way it goes. But they, Toya's upset that they have to walk back to the hotel. I don't know how far it was. They said it wasn't that far. But, I mean, it could have been a mile. Could have been two miles. I'm not sure. But Twilight, like, this is embarrassing, okay? We should not be walking on the side of the road in Mexico. We, we can't be doing that. I cannot believe this. <laughs> Simone said, Toya acting as if somebody from her, no one from her subdivision is going to see her walking down the road in Mexico. I said, they not? And I'm like, to be embarrassed, why? It's not safe. That's true. But it's y'all, you're not by yourself. It's like 20 y'all walking 
together with camera crews. No one's gonna come up and snatch somebody. Girl, calm the fuck down. So, you know, they get back whatever to the hotel and, you know, we see that that Heavenly is upset or does not like that Damon at the bar having a couple shots. So she sent Jackie over to say, you know, tell him don't don't drink so much, whatever. He said, Girl, look, I've been listening to my wife for years. I'm about to enjoy these drinks. Leave me be. I said, Well, that, that's gonna be an issue. So they all get back in their swimsuits, whatever, to chill out because again, the car don't work. So the villa planned for them to have like food and drinks or whatever by the pool. Just a little, little chill out or whatever. They oh, we're so sorry about the buses. I'm like, and it was like a Mercedes truck track bus. I'm like, girl. But I mean it's, it's also Mexico. So they buy the pool chilling. Okay, uh, Simone wants to play a, a a a question game. Okay, a little bit of a, a little bit of a mess, but they say as long as as long as Heavenly did not get the questions, we good. And no, it was Simone. Simone wrote the question, so it was like three, no, two questions. Damon pulled the question: If one spouse cheats, can the other one cheat and then they even? I said, well, well, well damn. Meaning, you know, of course, Jackie and Curtis. So he said, well, I, I don't think that's the right thing to do. Like, one wrong don't make no right. Uh, but I, I, you know, to getting back or getting back on track with a cheating spouse, it would take a whole bunch of work, a whole bunch of healing. Now, Jackie's saying, and I don't think, you know, excuse me, if I cheat or if he cheats, the other one should cheat and we even. no. I don't want to do that. Like, I think, because at that point, what's to stop y'all from doing it again? You know what I'm saying? So, that's, that's not a good thing or whatever. So, Jackie then said, well, Curtis is lucky. You know, he's still here with me. Is he lucky or is he tortured? I don't know. I'm, I, I see why he cheated. Oh, hell for. So, Simone questions is, do you need your spouse's permission to change careers, open a business, or go back to school? I'm like, why y'all do this? Okay, why y'all do this? Heavenly says, you know what I'm saying, you don't need permission. But you should try to run by your, try to run and buy them before you do it or whatever. You know, Sky and Contessa. I might see. Here we go. Oh, I mean, I didn't mean to call y'all. We had that permission for us or whatever. Um, but she do say, I just think, you know what I'm saying, you do need to run and buy that person. Now, Mariah said, well, I disagree. I feel like, you know, you should have some form of permission because every decision you make in your household, you know what I'm saying, affects your whole household. So, you know, you can't, you know, you and your mate should be on the same accord. Um... I feel like permission is the wrong word. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like I have to say, hey, Ma, can I go to the store? Yes, daughter. I don't think it's that, but I do think it's, you know, hey, I want to do this. Let's discuss if this works for our family. You know what I'm saying? I think it's a conversation that needs to be had, but not permission. And I think you, was it Toya? Man, somebody said, you know, sometimes it's about convincing your spouse why that's a good idea for the family, you know, but it's, it's a conversation, not permission. So, contestant then said, Well, that's something that only women have to do. Only women have to kind of get approval in some way or form to do something different, not the men. She brings up how, you know, when Cecil changed jobs, when Damon changed jobs, I'm saying the women behind them were like kind of encouraged to support their men. But when, when you know, when Scott changed jobs, because he changed jobs several times, he just did it. But when women do it, you know, it's just different. Contessa took the question of personal for one. Um, for two, I think the thing is Contessa makes changes based on a whim. And she'll feel something one time and that's what she wants to do. But as we see, she don't stick to it. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's different from Cecil who was fired from his job. Like Cecil lost his job and had to figure out what to do. Um, I think with Damon, Damon opened a business that was a medical business. He was already in the medical field. Um, but Contessa quit her job to be a step stay at home mom, then went back to work. But then from there, she moved out of state to go to school. So this is a little bit different or whatever. Anyway, so Damon then brings up how well if Heavenly wanted to change jobs and I would set the road with it and you know see how it goes or whatnot. And Heavenly said, Well that's because a man is supposed to support their wife. Cause just to say no, that's what your man does. Like you can't that ain't that ain't what every man do. I'm like, girl, Contessa, stop. So in the confession or whatever, Contessa Contessa's like it's talking to Scott. You have well, one life to live, whatever. You should be allowed to change. And, you know, you should not want the same thing that you wanted at 13 when you're 25. And then even once you're older, you should not want the same thing. You, we have to change. And Scott was like, you know what? I got to go to the bathroom. And he got up and walked away. 
<coughs> which made Contessa sit there and she starts crying. See, I'm always by myself. And she gets up and then she walks away. I feel like Contessa makes decisions on her own on what she wants to do. And if if Scott is supportive or not, she has an issue with it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he supported you going because you went. It just changed the family dynamic and that caused conflict. But it did not mean that he didn't support you in going. He just didn't think it was a right decision. Be like, you know, go ahead and do it. I'm not too happy about it, but go ahead and do it. You know, so I think him not supporting you would have been like, no, you can't go. No. He didn't stop you from doing it. You just went and you don't like how it changed so much. And I feel like now she regrets going because it messed up her family. And she don't know to blame her or to blame Scott. And I'm like, girl, just fix it. Anyway, that was the whole episode. Again, Jackie ain't shit. Uh, Contessa, please stop fussing with Scott. I bought you. You, you didn't quit school, girl. Pick, pick something else. Um... Kudos to, to, to Tasha, to Tasha, girl, Lord, just to Toya for speaking up for Buffy. And congrats to Buffy for getting to, 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 to heaven's ass. Okay? And I'm done. Peace.